Happy Technique Tuesday, everyone. This is a little reminder as you are doing some gentle exercises or warming up or checking in on your voice if you're feeling under the weather, that when you do NGs and hums, you should make sure that you're not clenching your jaw. So something that we don't always remember or recognize is that when you do an NG, your tongue and your jaw can act independently of one another. So to have your tongue in the back of your mouth doesn't mean your jaw needs to be closed. But in fact, you can keep your jaw super tall. So try this just for fun. So the tongue stays where it is and your jaw can move totally independently. It may take a little bit of training and experimenting with, but just a good reminder. And same thing with the hum. And your tongue can be an NG for that hum as well. Good reminders also, like I said, if you're feeling a little under the weather, to use those two warm ups, especially the NG, to keep your voice from sitting on your vocal cords and eventually causing a little bit of swelling down there. You can just do some NGs, making sure you get a little bit of air coming out of your nose first to make sure that you're speaking with both of your resonances, using your head resonance a little bit, and doing that a couple times throughout the day. So again, we don't sort of sit in the vocal fry place and cause the cords to just come together in an unhealthy way and swell, which is what eventually makes you lose your voice when you're feeling under the weather. So, tall jaw, NGs, air out the nose to help direct the flow. Take care of yourselves and happy holidays.